Today's topic is how to lay out or develop the pattern for a rectangle to round which is off center. It all starts with a certain size rectangle. In this case, it's a 12 by 10 going to a five inch diameter pipe. This five inch diameter pipe is located off center with the using these measurements. So after you sketch a top view or a plan view of where the circle will be located, divide this circle into 12 equal spaces. Start numbering them, 1 to 12, and you'll also notice that I added letters to the corner of the rectangle. And also, which is important, is the X's, which you'll see later on, are a seam. At the moment, I'm adding measurement lines or element lines. It's not necessary to scribe them in. But for instructional purposes, I find it might be easier. We're going to make this rectangle to round in two pieces. This is where I will place the seams. Now with your dividers, I need to take every element line and drop them on or transfer them to a baseline. So I have just done A10. This is A11. It's a good idea to start marking which ones they are. A12. A1. And you'll notice that the needle of my divider is always in the same spot. So let's go for B1. This is easier to use dividers than with the marker. So B2. B3. It's almost like playing bingo. And B4 will be my last one. I lied. You need to bring in X4 or 4X, which will represent the length of a seam later on. X4 and we'll need X10. And you'll notice that this fitting is going to be eight inches tall. So I did the side AB. Now let's go do inside. Let's go do side CD. This is C4. C5. C6. C to 7. But make sure your needle is on that corner. Now let's go to do, let's go do D. So now we got D7.
Here's D8. D9. And some of these lines can get congested on the bottom. Therefore, make your arcs a little taller or just pay extra attention. And here's D10. Now let's go back to side AB. We are ready to start laying out the pattern. If I'm looking on the, if I am on the inside of the fitting and looking that way, I would have A to my left and B to my right. I'll be making the pattern from the inside. So right now I'm going to go and do triangulate A1 over 8 inches high. Strike an arc and then locate B1 that you transferred earlier over the height of the fitting which is 8. Now you've just triangulated B1. Now where those two arcs cross will become number 1. Now this is important to have your dividers or a set of dividers set at 1 12th of the circumference. And here I'm just double checking if 1 12th is set correctly. And then once you've got the right setting, go ahead and scribe on each side of number one. So now I wanna do A12 and B2. So this is B2. A 12. Now I'm looking to do B3 and A11. I'm now setting A3. Oh, sorry, it was A11, and this is B3. It's always good practice to make a little punch mark so your divider can rest inside of that little punch. So now we finish with 10-4. Four. four on this side and 10 on the other. And you'll notice there should be six equal spaces because that's half of the circle and we divided the circle into 12 equal spaces. Now I'm triangulating 4x and this dimension would be 5 inches from the rectangle. So from B, strike an arc 5 inches and we're at met 4x. We're going to do the same thing for the upper one. We've got X10 over 8 inches. Go to 10, strike down. Use that same 5 inch. And it's only five inch because it's a 12 by 10 rectangle. So 
here I'll identify some of my lines to make it clearer, but this is unnecessary. But right now I'm checking those corners and if they are 90 degrees, chances are my, pat my pattern was done correctly. Scribe the top arc and you've got half of your layout done. Now we'll go and do the other side. CD, again, I'm looking in. If I was inside this squared around, I'm looking in. C would be to my left and D would be to my right. Now using 8 inches high and C7, let's go ahead and scribe C towards 7. Forgive me for not showing C on the video. And we'll go and do D7 now. Point on D, now we've located number 7. This again, as I'm repeating, it's one twelfth of the circumference. Try to be very accurate with that. D8. This will be C6. C5. And then we'll go do D9. And on this side, we need to find our last one, C4. Again, on the bottom, from C to X, on this rectangle would be seven inches. D to X is also seven. Now I'm gonna triangulate the seam 4X, which was already done on the other side. So I'm gonna go back to 4X over eight inches, use four as a center, swing down where it meets, it will be X. And let's do it for the other side. I had the same thing, 10X was done earlier. Ten, strike an arc toward, and becomes X. Again, now I will highlight or mark all the lines to demonstrate what the pattern looks like.
So this is the inside pattern of side CD. Now, I went ahead and cut the, both patterns. Here's my top view. This is what it should look like. Now I formed them. Looks good so far. Is it eight inches tall? Yes, it's eight. If you have any questions regarding this layout or any other thing, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.